I made this video to remember Harlan's life for those of you who loved him but never got to meet him in person. I found some old video clips of him from a few years ago. He didn't think his guitar picking and singing was good enough to put online because he was out of practice and the audio was not studio quality. But I don't think he would mind me sharing them with you. Some of them are very serious and always about Jesus. Some of them are on the funny side. He had a super sense of humor. And at the end, I included part of the funeral service. Right before the funeral service, I put a song on that he wrote in 2010. My heart is broken, and I look forward to Jesus calling me home when my time is up here. I live a praying, fasting, and crying life now, but Jesus blesses me a lot to get me through each day, one day at a time. There's a few of you that have really been supportive of me. Some of you, some of the sisters and even the brothers have really been there for me, and I thank Jesus for you, and I pray for you every day. A couple of months ago, I had a dream about Harlan. And he wanted me to reach out to his youngest daughter. I received a letter back from her yesterday. And I want to read a portion of it to you. She said, my dad was a different man among men. And I know growing up, we had great times. The one thing I do know, which you touched on, is that dad was the same in the home as he was on the pulpit. He was not fake in his religion or beliefs like many. Now, I can attest to that. Harlan is and was the real deal. He was true blue all the way through all the years I spent with him, nearly 44 years. When Jesus spoke to him, the Bible is an idol. He stood up that night and told what Jesus spoke to him. The Bible is an idol. And he tore up his golden engraved Bible in front of the congregation. And he never backed down, even though it cost him everything in this world. And he received hatred, persecution, and slander, just like the saints of old did. And Jesus told him a few weeks before he took him home, you never quit, hillbilly, which made Harlan cry like a baby. He always cried when the Lord touched him. In some of the videos, he could hardly talk because of it. I had to edit some of, the, some of that out of the videos because he just couldn't talk. He would be so touched every time the Lord touched him. He loved Jesus and the Father so much. That was his life. He is a true saint by the grace of God and our Savior, Yeshua. We give all the glory to Jesus Christ and to the Father who sent his Holy Spirit and told us this truth to deliver us from the lies of Satan and from the bondage of the curse of the law so that we could be filled with the gift and promise of God, which is the Holy Spirit. And that is our life. We, re we are regenerated by the Holy Spirit and that is God in us. He leads us, he guides us, he reconciles us back to our Father and he will take us home to be with him forever. There's no other way. It's very simple. I hope you enjoy the video. Preach your man. I know you're tired. Keep on doing the best you can. Got a long, hard road to hoe. You don't get much help, I know. But we're praying and we love you. Preach your man. Preach your man. Preach your man. I know you're tired, keep on doing the best you can. You got a long, hard road to hoe. You don't get much help, I know. But we pray and we love you, preacher man. Preacher man. Preacher man. I know you're tired. Keep on doing the best you can. You got a long, hard road to hoe. Don't get much help, I know. But we're praying and we love you, preacher man. Another road with rock that hurts my feet. But as long as Jesus walks along beside me, I can take it without me no defeat. I have questioned the loss of a loved one, wondered why. 
It happened to me. But through prayer, I found the answer. It was all so plain to see. Another hill, and sometimes a mountain. Another road with rock that hurts my feet. But as long as Jesus walks along beside me, I can take it, there'll be no retreat. I can take it, there'll be no He shot himself some very fine quail and one little measly hare. But upon his way, returning home, he spied a great big grizzly bear. Well, the bear marched out in the middle of the road right up to the preacher, you see. The preacher got so excited Climb the persimmon tree. I <clears throat> sit down upon the ground. The preacher climbed down on a limb. Cast his eyes, the Lord in the skies, and these words he says to him. <clears throat> oh Lord, you delivered Daniel from a lion's den. I Lord, you delivered Jonah from a belly of a whale and then. The Hebrew children from the fiery furnace, the good book it do declare. And now, oh Lord, if you can't help me, please don't help that bear. <clears throat> well, the preacher stayed up in that tree, I think it was all night. 
Rich said, if you don't come soon, you're going to see an awful fight. About that time, the limb let go. Preacher came tumbling down. You ought to seen him get his razor right before he hit the ground. Well, he hit the ground to cut and right and left, and he put up a pretty clean fight. <laughs> but the bar, he grabbed the preacher and squeezed him a little too tight. The preacher lost his razor. The bar held on with a grim. Cast his eyes to the Lord in the sky, and these words he said to him. You delivered Banya from a lion's den And Lord You delivered Jonah From a belly of a whale And then He brewed children from the thought return As the good book it do declare Now oh Lord If you can't help me Please don't Help that bad <laughs> The farmers would take a mare and breed it with a, with a jack the, uh, from the donkey family and get a mule. Old floppy-eared mule, you know, it wasn't uh, moon-eyed or nothing. They'd just stand around and plow the garden for 20 years. It's cheap to keep and everything. Well, this man lost his mule, this farmer, and he went down to this preacher's house, had a mule for sale. And that priest said, you sure you want to buy this mule? He said, this is a religious mule. I said, well, I don't know of any difference between a religious mule and just a plain mule. He said, I'll buy him. He said, okay, but now, when you say, giddy up, he won't do nothing. And if you say, whoa, whoa, he won't do nothing. He said, can you remember this? He said, yeah. He said, when you get on him and you say, praise the Lord, he'll take off. And when you say, amen, amen, he'll stop. And so he said, okay, I remember that. So he took off through the mountains there. You know, he's headed home. Well, a thunderstorm came up. Lightning was flashing and it hit a tree and sparks was flying. And that mule, you know, a mule's dumb, but he ain't stupid. He was headed for the barn. Boy, I mean, he was running. And running through the mountains so high, you know, where, where he was born. If you fell off one of them, you'd starve to death before you hit the ground. And so he was running that mule and... and he was thinking, oh, oh my God. He was headed right for a big cliff. Oh, 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 a thousand feet down. He was running that mule head straight. He was thinking, oh, oh, wait a minute. He's a religious mule. What? What did I say? He said, he said, amen, amen, amen. And old mule pulled right up to the edge of the cliff. Stopped right at the edge of the cliff. And that guy said, whew, praise the Lord. <laughs> okay. Remember when we was little, didn't have much to eat but beans and taters, but we'd sang this song here, if you remember, a long time ago. Well, hallelujah, anyhow. Don't ever let the devil get you down. Don't ever let him see you cry. Look the devil in the eye and sing, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. Don't ever let the devil get you down. Now don't ever let him see you cry. Look a devil in the eye and sing hallelujah, anyhow. Anyhow. <laughs> well, you think all I got to do is sit here and say so? All right, this is 38 years with a flat tender. Mm -hmm. She's a, a rose. She's my rose. If I want to <laughs> yeah. mm, you don't, at the camera. You don't have you don't have the roses in the in the picture. Well, I mean, uh, but I don't know if I'm in the picture or not.
Thank you, Lord, for putting us together and keeping us together and for the work's sake. Thank you for this. Hail Billy, I still love him after 38 years. Thank you, Lord, for everything, even I, the yellow roses. I spoiled her. She spoiled Rob. He spoiled the most. I spoiled him the most. And Jesus spoiled her, too. Yeah, because... And he spoiled him more. No, I'm, I'm just barely spoiled. <laughs> oh. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Years. 38 years with Puck and Hay. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Is the day many, many years. 38 years with Puck and And now I think I'm something. I've lived my life with a flatlander. Don't you see? She don't nothing about the country, just cactuses and sand fleas. But she's been a good old girl to me. Thirty-eight is the date we have been together, married. By the will of the Lord She's a little bit spoiled I reckon But that can be considered Since she's the only girl in this house Thirty-eight is the date <laughs> Happy anniversary, I love you too I love you too after 38 years. Thank you, Jesus. Distracting me from my concentration. Hallelujah. <laughs> You're going to get it, Lord. My time's up. I've got to get off. I've done with nearly 33 minutes. You looking at my physique? Yep. How much weight I've lost? Yep. Okay, I've been 33 minutes. I'm out of here. Alrighty, Samson. She's on her Bible for a roadmap. The scriptures, they tell her what to do. The twelve apostles are her road signs. You backslid. <laughs> Jesus will safely see her through. <laughs> yeah, I'm using the Bible for a man. <laughs> That's all I know. know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus What can make me whole again Nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, precious is the flow That makes me white as snow No other fount I know Nothing but the blood of Jesus Anywhere you want me to And I'll do Anything you'd have me do Make no difference about the price Make a sacrifice And I'll go Anywhere you want me to Well my friends has turned me down Cause you made me what I am I know this not a friend as kind as you I'll go on and on with you Makes no difference what others do I'll go anywhere you want me to Yes, I'll go anywhere you want me to And I'll do anything you'd have me do Makes no difference about the price I'll make a sacrifice and I'll go 
anywhere you want me to. Yes, I'll go anywhere you want me to. And I'll do anything you'd have me do. Makes no difference about the price. I'll make a sacrifice. And I'll go anywhere you want me to. When I get to glory, I'm going to sing, sing, sing. I'm going to pray my blessed Savior's name. I will be there and I'll shout and sing. I get to glory, I'm going to sing, sing, sing. I get to glory, I'm I'm gonna praise my blessed Savior's name. I will forever sing in His name. For I get the glory. I'm gonna sing, sing, sing. You got. You gotta go by yourself. Ain't no one here gonna go there for you. You gotta go by yourself. Some folks said John was a bad. Some folks say was a Jew, but history plainly tells us that he was a Christian too. You gotta walk the lonesome valley. You gotta go. By yourself, ain't no one here gonna walk it for you. You gotta go by yourself. You gotta walk the lonesome valley. And you gotta go by yourself. No one here wanna walk it for you. You gotta go by yourself.
what Jesus died to bring to us and that's what this man preached for 57 years. He wanted people to know the real Jesus and I love him. To me he's the greatest person on, that was on the face of this earth in this generation and I just wanted to say that because he was always good to me. He was honest. He was true and all the way to the end and he loves God. I know he's speaking now and he always will be and I look forward to going to and be with him soon. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Detail and buttons. Reason and arm. Honor guard by your command. Honor guard and buttons. Four arm. Top five. Two. Prepare to fly three 
you spoke a while ago him, tells me that he's a soldier of Christ. And I believe that when our veterans pass on, which means all of us have a better behavior, or else you won't let us go up there with him. You too. Yeah. <laughs> me too. We're all on the report. Thank you. He did not live life for himself. You mentioned his preaching the gospel. You know, he did that for others. And what an example he was, just like uh, Homer said earlier, what an example he is to the future generation. I hope you take comfort in the service that you're able to see today. And that'll conclude our services today. You're welcome to come up and say your goodbye before they take this casket to its final resting spot. Maybe I know these spirits are not here at the Mrs. Sister body. I sure did miss you, and I look forward to coming over there when you are. I'm going to do the best I can. To continue the ministry, I know you would have wanted me to. No, my opponents cut out of me. But I know you were Jesus now, and you did all you could do all you want. To please him, that's all you ever wanted to do, and I know you did. And I thank you for loving me and being a good husband. An honest hearted person that always loved God and wanted to do the right thing. I love you now, and I love you forever. And I long to come over there and be with you.